channel if you're new here welcome 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 my name is Nicole and today I have a couple of things from Bath and Body Works I participated in their um, SAS sale the sale began on December 26th I was actually in the store December 26th so underwhelmed it's so disappointing but I did pick up some things don't get me wrong because somebody needed to come and get my debit card, that's why. But <laughs> no, um, I needed to either re up, get a backup, or I was just. Girl. And I also participated in um, the SAS sale at Victoria's Secret, which also began on the 26th. And I only got a couple of things. We're gonna start with Victoria's Secret because it's so few. Little bag. I'm, I'm telling you, there has been, these cells have been sucking, 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 sucking. But, so I picked up Autumn Shore. And this says, Vanilla Smoke Melts Ice Coffee Bonfire Night. This to me, oh, it smells like a smoky, marshmallowy vanilla. Um... It's giving, people were hoping that this was Bonfire Bash, but I don't think so. However, it is giving a nice smoky vanilla. It smells more like Tonka bean to me than it does coffee. Like a smoked <laughs> coffee. That's what it smells like to me. But it smells good. That vanilla helps um, mellow out that coffee note. And I think that's what's giving it the tonka, tonka bean essence. But this is good to me. I thought this was good. So I picked that up. I also picked up... Um, you know what? I'm going to put them back here with my little stink. Y'all see my little stink back here, Sienna? We love seeing. I got that at the last SASL Bath and Body Works. Oh, and I also picked up the Wild Fig and Manuka Honey. Now, I never smell. I hadn't smelled this when I was in the stores a couple of months back. But this smells so good. This has fragrance notes of girl. <clears throat> I can't see. This has fragrance notes of. Uh, wild fig, manuka honey, mm. and it says botanical inspiration. All right then. So, but this to me smell a bit sweet. Yes, this is nice. If you don't like honey, you're not gonna like this because it, it definitely has honey, and that fig is very loud. So if you don't like fig and honey, you're not gonna like this. But I happen to like honey fragrances, and the, the fig in this is so sweet. This is going to be so good. It's just very um, sweet, like candy. Love it. So we got that. And I also picked up um, Tease Noir, the perfume, the travel spray, or roller. I don't even know. I should have probably opened this. Ahead of time. Do I have the fragrance notes on here? Oh, I can't lose this. Now I also got a $20 off a $50 purchase. Free mist or lotion. Oh girl, who knew that? I did not know that. You know I'm gonna use that before this sad sale is over. Um see what this smells like. I smelled the body spray in the store and I liked it. So let's hope I get that same. Is this a rollerball? Jesus. Jesus, it's a rollerball. I 
it's okay. I don't know. I like the mist better almost. It's almost giving me like YSL's black opium. I don't know if I like this, friends. Let's let it sit for a while. And um, maybe I'll come back to it. And that was all that I got from Victoria's Secret. So it's very short and sweet. And next, um, so I went to two different stores. No, I went to like four different stores for Bath and Body Works. I went to two stores on the 26th and I went to two stores on Friday. Now from the first store, don't let this bag fool you, child. Just cause it's big, don't mean nothing, nothing. But, wait, I can't do it like this. So I'm just gonna keep reaching over here. I picked up um, Sunrise Woods shower gel. And most of these on day one, all I picked up was shower gels, shower gels. So, and the fragrance notes in here is creamy sandalwood, uh, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. And this is exactly what it is. It's very silky, sweet, berry. It's a nice fragrance. It's not too loud. It's very nice. I don't have the fragrance mist to this. Um... And I don't know why I slept on it. Because this smells very good. But I think, I don't know why. I also picked up Copperfields, Harvest Sun, Fresh Wildflowers, and Bronze Woods. Y'all want to see? My bad. My bad. I, I get so excited. So. Mm, now this one I wish... I absolutely wish I would have picked up a fragrance mist. Again, I did not. But this is nice. This smells like, um, this smells to me like it has cashmere in it. This should be called cashmere. Let me go over these fragrance notes again. This smells sweet and pretty. Oh, this smells sort of like sensual amber. That's what the, I knew this smells, had smelled familiar. I knew this scent had smelled familiar. So we got that. We also, we, I also picked up um, a Jolly Gingerbread Village. And this pretty much completes my set. Mm. Again, this is not your typical gourmand gingerbread, but this is a nice ginger fragrance. And this has fragrance notes of golden gingerbread, vanilla icicles, and yuletide timber. And this smells so good to me. I don't, I don't care, I don't care what y'all say. This smells absolutely delicious. So pick that up, such a pretty fragrance. And I also grabbed a couple more things. Just a couple more. Um, put these up here so I can reach for them a little better. I also grabbed Sweet Whiskey and Sweet Whiskey. Love me a Sweet Whiskey. Oh, love Sweet Whiskey. It has fragrance notes of golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and sweet red berries. I always say I never get the red berries in this. This to me is just a boozy vanilla. Yeah, I don't know. It's a sweet boozy vanilla. I never get the berries, but I guess the sweetness probably comes from the berries. So that's probably the berries. But I, when I read berries, I'm looking for like a bright berry scent, like something I can identify, I guess, like a cranberry, a raspberry, something like that. But this is a sweet, boozy fragrance. So I got that, and that completes my set as well. I also picked up Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte in a shower gel. And 
So this has fragrance notes on it. Baby, this one don't have fragrance notes. This one does not have fragrance notes. So this must be an old package. No, it's not. It has the, um... Girl, why does it not have fragrance notes on it? That is weird. Hold the line, please. Hold the line. I have to be an inspector gadget. Girl. Like I was saying, so this does not have the fragrance notes on it, which I'm very shocked. So I had to go and grab my lotion or my uh, body cream. So this has fragrance notes of pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, and creamy sandalwood praline musk. This is a, let me not put this over here because it's not a part of the haul. But this to me is a sweet marshmallowy, a spiced toasted marshmallow. And it smells absolutely delicious. A lot of people don't like it. They say it's too sweet, it's too gourmand. But baby, I love it, love it. And that is marshmallow pumpkin latte. Oh, one more from the 26th. I also picked up Bright Christmas Morning. And so sorry. No, hey, Paul. What up? Nothing. How are you? All right. This is the debut of my son walking in the door. So this has, um, so I picked up Bright Christmas Morning, and this has fragrance notes of red ripe berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. This is just a sweet citrusy. This is like a juicy, sweet, citrusy um, fragrance. And that, my friend, is Bright Christmas Morning. So got that. Okay, I'm back. Where was I? I left off on Bright Christmas Morning. Yeah, baby, I don't know if I like this. Yeah. So the other stores I have gone to, I picked up a couple of things. I picked up more shower gels. More, more shower gels. So I picked up um, a pumpkin pecan waffles. Let me see if this one has fragrance notes on it. So that's this. And this one does not either. So baby, I don't have the fragrance notes for this and I'm not running back to get the cream. I'll put the, the fragrance notes on the screen. No, it's this one that people don't like that say it's too sweet. I don't, it's not the um, marshmallow pumpkin latte, it's this one. Cause this one is very syrupy sweet. It smells just like exactly what it says, like a syrupy pecan waffle with some um, pumpkin spice. Mmm, that smells good to me. Love this. Again, that's pumpkin pecan waffle. Um, I also grabbed a pink pineapple sunrise. And this has fragrance notes of sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. Yeah. Oh. So I'm not gonna open this one. It smells like a juicy pineapple. That's all I can tell you. Because they have this one nice and wrapped. And I know I'm not gonna be using this to the summertime. So I'm not gonna open that. I think this may be the, oh no, I have one more shower gel. <clears throat> but that's in my other bag. I picked up um, golden sunflower and this has fragrance notes of sunflower petals orange flower and fresh vanilla and I do not have the fragrance mist to this either I said let me it's something about it this is giving very it's very floral to me but I said let me try it in the shower gel because if I like it in the shower gel and if I ever see it come back because I'm, I'm almost certainly going to bring it back in the summer I might get it 
But baby, I don't know. I get that vanilla, but that sunflower is heavy in here. So I don't know about that. It's okay. It's not a uh, fragrance, but it's, it's very um, floral. And I also picked up a, a hand soap. And this is golden citrus and vanilla. It's so pretty. I thought this was so pretty. And y'all know yellow is my favorite color, honey. And they doing it with the yellow. And this has fragrance notes of, child, I can't see this one. Sunkissed orange, autumn blooms, and creamy vanilla. They didn't have many soaps on sale at my stores. All the soaps are still 50% off them. They had no 75% off candles. Mm, this smells so good. It just smells like a citrus vanilla. It smells very good. So, got that. That'll be nice in the springtime. But yeah, they had no, no candles. All the Christmas stuff is still pretty much 50% off other than the line that they brought back. You know, the Jolly Gingerbread Village, that line. But everything else is 50% off. And I was like, see y'all later. But I picked up Everlasting Magic um, in the body cream. I wanted the fragrance mist, but they didn't have it. So I just took what I could. And this is a, and I didn't get this when it originally, the fragrances, when the fragrances originally came out, because I was like, it's very light. But I kept um, smelling the hair cream and using the hair cream when I would go in the stores and find it. And it grew on me. So now I want the fragrance mist. And this has, child, I can't see. Hold on. Just hold the line, please. Bejeweled berries, phantom pillows. This has bejeweled berries, phantom petals, and magic musk. Not magic musk, honey. Not magic musk, but it's a very fruity, slightly powdery fragrance. And you and I can see why people say it kind of smells like cherries, because it kind of does have like a cherry undertone. Whatever it is, it's a dark fruit. It's not like one of the red cherries, so it's like a black cherry. I like it a lot. I picked up a Ballet Nights, Ballet Nights body cream. It has fragrance notes of Wild Plum, Glowing Amber, and top Tonka Cream. Y'all know this has become a favorite of mine, an absolute favorite. That Tonka cream in this makes it so creamy and sweet. And that plum, baby, this, this right here, this is it. So I picked that up. And I also, girl, let me tell you about this. So I picked up another fairy tale. I was not going for fairy tale. I was not. I'm almost through with my fairy tale and I used it Friday. When I used it Friday, I was like, oh my God, I'm almost going. And I was like, I gotta get it back up. Child, I went to, oh, I went to three different stores that day on Friday because nobody had fairy tale. The very last store I went to had two left. And so I ended up picking it up. I was not thinking about getting another or a replacement, but I was smelling so good on Friday because I used Fairy Tale. I was like, no, I gotta, I gotta have it. And fragrance notes in here are pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. And this is, this is everything you have ever dreamed of if you layer it right. Mark my words. So that's beautiful. Got that. And this is my very last bag. So let's start with the last shower gel. So y'all know I'm not afraid to use masculine fragrances, but they have to have some sort of sweetness to it. You know what I mean? So I picked up 
Whiskey Reserve, which has fragrances of apple, whiskey, and oak. This is such a beautiful, bold fragrance. This smells just like a boozy apple. I hate to keep using that phrase, but that's exactly what it smells like. You, it has some woody undertones. If you don't like oak, you're not going to like this because you're definitely getting that woodiness. But baby, this is so good. If you layered this correctly, you will be that shit walking wherever you're going. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Well, you wouldn't layer this because it's a shower gel. But if you got the lotion or the body mist. Now, I wouldn't get the body mist in this, but I definitely would get the cream. And these were $3.95 on sale online on Friday, but for some reason in the store, it was still coming up $4.95. And initially, the girl in the store did not want to give me the $3.95. They was trying to tell me that I had to do an online order and pick up in the store. But when I, because I, I was standing right there, when I tried to do that, all the items that I picked up was saying it was out of stock. I said, girl, it's saying that you guys don't have it, and clearly you have it. So the manager was nice enough to um, adjust the price. And that is that goes the same with the bars of soap. The bars of soap was actually 75% off, but they were still coming up 50% off. So I picked up Woodlands. Do I have fragrance soaps on here? Probably not, but I like Woodlands. Woodlands is so nice. Child, if I had a man, he would be smelling so good, but I don't, so I'm gonna use it. And I picked up two. Two of the Woodlands. Is this upside down? And y'all yeah, know my favorite coffee and whiskey. I picked up one of those. And I picked up a Woodlands body cream. Child, I had to. This is, I was waiting on this to go on some. I can't even hold you. So this has fragrance notes of cool citrus, fresh sage, and Virginia cedar. This is so pretty. You get this the citrus before anything. And that don't be afraid of sage, because sometimes sage can be very disrespectful. But this is a nice, warm, herbal. Um, sage is not heavy. It's very well balanced with that citrus. Citrus pretty much balance out any herb. That's why you get, you know, lemon and herb on your uh, encrusted fish or something like that. This or lemon and herb um, pork chops. I'm telling you, citrus balance out sage so well, or I should say herbs. Um, but this girl. Trust me, don't be afraid to play in Bath and Body's masculine fragrances. And I also picked up a Midnight Amber Glow hand cream. This is like a $1.76 or something like that. And mind you, um, so at the Friday store, I was able to use my 10 off of 40 because Monday when I went in, I didn't have, I think all everything, all my shower gels from Monday probably came out to like $20-something dollars. But I also picked up a white jasmine. Ooh, white jasmine. I did know, not know white jasmine smells so good. Let's see, can I see the fragrance notes on here? It has creamy white jasmine, apple blossom, and white cedar wood. This is such a beautiful fragrance. Mm -hmm. If you don't like jasmine, you're not gonna like this. But the apple blossom balance it out, I promise you. It's not loud or screechy. This is very pretty, very springtime. This is a beautiful, fresh, sweet floral. This is gonna be really nice in the springtime as well. And summer. Or if you go into the gym. And I picked up Denim and Daisies. I also wasn't into Denim and Daisies when it first came out. And to tell you the truth, I'm kind of on a fence with it now. It smelled okay. But I needed to make my 40. So 
so I can get my $10 or $40. But it smells okay. I mean, I'm not sold on it. Maybe I have to wear it, but it's a nice floral scent, I guess. It has a little bit of sweetness. It has a fragrance notes of sweet daisy, sun soaked denim, and summer citrus. Do this smell like denim? Hmm. I don't know if it smells like sun soaked denim or like soaking denim. Cause you you know how jeans smell when you pull them out the washing machine. Girl, I don't know if I get that. But for some reason I see um, denim hanging on a clothesline for some reason when I smell this. But it smells good, you know, it's okay. I'll let y'all know if I'm loving it. And I got a backup. <laughs> A ballet night. I already read the fragrance notes. Just wanted to show y'all. Got a backup. And I, I don't, you know, I don't really do backups, but for some reason, child, I had to. Between the fresh vanilla blossoms and the cozy vanilla bourbon, yes. At Bath and Body Works, child, I had to get backups. And lastly, I picked up this Forever Sunshine. And this has fragrance notes of golden apricot, peak pink. This has fragrance notes of golden apricot, pink peonies, vanilla musk, and a hint of praline. I can't wait to smell this. I can't wait. Um, or smell it again, I should say. Cause it's very floral-esque. I don't know if I get praline. I, I'm, I'm dying to get the praline. And I don't know if I'm getting it. But that apricot, that apricot along with those peonies, peonies are so pretty to me. I love peonies. And you are definitely getting the apricot and peonies in this. Mm, it smells good. I was just hoping that I would have gotten more of the praline, but this smells good to me. I don't know if I'm in love with this, but it smells very good. I think this will layer well with um, Victoria's Secret's um, what's the Bombshell Glamour. I think that would be a good layer. But that is it, friends. That is all that I picked up from the um, Sad Cell. I mean, it looks like I got a lot, but they're more shower gels than anything. And I'll bring y'all in a little closer so you can see. And that is it, friends. That is all that I picked up from the sand cell. Let me know if you guys participated and how, what are your thoughts on the sad cell? Are you guys enjoying the sad cell? Are you underwhelmed like I am? Are you unimpressed? Um, let me know. I just, just you know, I just, I don't know. I'm speechless. Um, I've seen the sad cells going down, but this right here, this is a real mess right here. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you all so very, very much. To the next time, friends. Understanding. You respected every boundary. You so excited. Was unexpected.